it's been called a closed loop Olympic bubble. And during the games, only athletes, trainers, organizers and volunteers are allowed inside. The idea is to avoid any transmission of COVID-19 into Chinese communities. As soon as they arrive at the airport, participants in the games will be accompanied to the bubbles in the capital, but also Yanqing and Zhanjiaku. Trains linking Beijing to the two other sites have dedicated carriages for Olympic personnel, while on the roads there's a special lane. Local police have warned drivers against helping people in danger. If you see an accident in the Olympic lane, keep your distance. Don't approach. Last week, China cancelled plans to sell Olympic event tickets to the public. The move has been met with a mix of frustration and understanding. I'm happy it's taking place in Beijing. I'm proud, but I will watch it on TV. Inside the bubble, where training has already begun, strict measures are in place, including mandatory face masks, temperature checks and daily PCR tests. Once in the zone, participants will not be able to go in and out. Even the rubbish collected during the games won't be removed from the premises.